in this video we're going to focus on solving two tiny issues here we had this one here with the filter what we're going to do is nice having the filter working and then also if we put back to one or to zero it will be or it will go back and we filter again and then if we do this again on number eight filter again and of course we're going to work on the reset button that we click on this you can see it goes here back from minus one all up to number two which are which is basically six different values all right so let's start to explore how to solve this right now in this video we'll continue on with where we left off in one of my other previous videos about and this video will focus exactly on how to reset the filter on a chart in chart.js and this was basically with this design here on one of my videos it was in this specific video on how to fill the data from a chart in chart.js and if you scroll down here Damien had a point here where he indicated that all the interest is to be able to reset the filter by getting original data again but you skip it all right so this is a good point here that I realized that I didn't continue on with this specific video so it's time to continue on and just complete a few items here that I noticed were still not really resolved first of all we should have here what we call a reset button where we can reset the value and next what I noticed was I didn't realize that this was not working or I totally forgot about it we have this here and then for example I want to filter back to one and now if you click on it you can see it doesn't reset completely or it doesn't filter based on the original data so that's what we're going to do right now all right how are we going to solve that well it's quite straightforward but we need to do some tiny adjustments in the code so what we're going to do here is basically this you can see here this and what and this has the data in here and what we also need is the one with the labels so I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to make a new constant here and this constant will be labels equals this all right and then we grab this variable or constant and put it in here and just for the sake of it just put this nicely there all right so you can see here uh, we have this now then what we're going to do here is a tiny trick eventually we need a better refactoring of our code however this is for now if you have this now so this will work nicely so because of the filter here what is really happening and this is the reason why this is not responding here it filters out everything already and then it cannot find any more number one well there was probably something with number three or higher it should be shown but it doesn't show as well because it has been already removed from the array so the array needs to be reset to reset this array without a reset button because we just want to filter with this we don't want to reset it back to original state but we want to get the array reset on the original state first and then filter again through this here all right so to do this all we have to do here is basically this we're going to grab this my data data sets data put it in here and then we say equal data because this data is always untouched so this is a fixed value here that's untouched because we get the value from here and this grabs the value here of course but this when we grab the value here we never touch this specific variable or constant which is useful because now we can always refer back to it very important here especially with filter you don't want to filter the original of an original array if you do so you will have this current issue that we experience right now same story here is for the labels so we're going to put in here labels and then we say here uh, let's see they should be here data and then labels all right save this and refresh so once we have this here let's check now if I do in six so the moment we press here number six and we press here on filter the chart you can see it filters out the values and now I want to put only number one you click on that and there it filters nicely and you can see the red one which if I'm not mistaken is value one so this works nicely all right so right now we have everything here we can go back to original there we are we can see all these values here working let's uh, try everything that we can imagine just to make sure Go in here, all right, we do this, and then we go here to zero, and there we are. So you might say, well, if I just put in zero, 
we just have everything back to normal. Well, to be honest, this is not, not what I recommend. And the reason why, is if this would be minus one, we have an issue here. You can see here. Then we say, well, we do zero, we're back to normal. No. Then you might say, well, you have to go minus uh, 1,000 or something like that. Of course, that doesn't make any sense for your user. So what we need to what we need to have is just a single button here. That's clear. That when we click on it, it will say re refresh or or reset the chart. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab this specific button here. I'm going to duplicate this, and we say on click, and then we say here reset chart, and then we say here, reset. All right. So once we have this, what we need to do now is a function here and the function will be very straightforward because if you understand what we did here you are basically going to do the exactly the same so we say here reset chart there we are semicolon here and all we're going to do is we're going to grab this put in here and then we have here this update once we do this we save that refresh and now let's do five filter and then we click on this oh let's see what's going on filter data is not uh of course sorry this is uh, not what we want we don't want that one sorry we want this one here bob that makes sense because that's the original one paste is in here save that refresh all right let's try again we have filter now reset there we are and then if we go here uh, we put in zero all right, and we set minus one, there we are. So now we have exactly everything what we want to have. And this is a nice fully functioning option here. Beautiful. So this is basically how to do it and how to reset your chart and solving all the tiny bugs that we had in there.